Hey guys, how's everything going? This is Jaser. Uh, in this video, let's talk about the countervariance of function arguments in TypeScript. I think I've covered this in one of my videos about TypeScript. Uh, so yeah, you don't need to search on the uh, you, uh, channel. Uh, I put this post into my blog, jaser.dev. So if you're interested, please refer uh, to, to my website. Um, let's begin. So uh, let's first take a look at this code snippet. Uh, we have an animal and we have a cat, just extends it. Now we have two variable, uh, which is animal, type of animal, and type cat of cat. So can cat and animal to be assigned to each other? Obviously we can assign cat to animal, but we cannot assign it back, right? This is pretty obvious, right? Um, yeah, this is what we uh, th would think it would be. And, uh, but let's take a look at the fun uh, other two functions. The first function is feed animal. We accept animal as the argument. And feed cat, we we have a cat as the argument. So we have these functions. Can we assign uh, it to each other? Um, well, so things becomes a little interesting is that feed cat cannot be assigned uh, to feed animal, but feed animal could could be assigned to feed cat. It's kind of like the opposite of our, what we are experiencing here, right? Cat could be assigned to animal, but feed cat cannot be assigned to feed animal. So why is it? So this is because the function arguments in TypeScript is countervariant. Actually, uh, uh, I think it's some version TypeScript add this uh, before that. The Actually, the, the argument is invariant or covariant. I don't remember, but it's not strict. So maybe this is OK. But now it's not. Um, the, the reason why, uh, what is covariance and the countervariance? I've already put a link about, uh, about this. Someone. Uh, I saw this post from other uh, guys' uh, blogs. It's very clear, and I suggest you take a look. So I'm here just to um, tell you about this analogy I thought of to understand it. Uh, so suppose we have a pipe. We have a pipe connector. Um, water flows from left to right, right? For In order for this to work, we need the pipe to hold the, the entrant, entry, entry to hold, uh, to wrap the whole pipe and the exit to be inside of the pipe, right? To, to like, for, for water to flow in, flow in and to get out, right? To, to yeah, and uh, this is it. And uh, so suppose we now we need to replace it to be with another connector. So how we would it be? Um, I think theoretically we need a pipe, pipe connector, which, uh, which is big, the exit is, uh, the, the entry is bigger and the exit is smaller. Why? If not, if we, like the entry is smaller, the water will flow out, right? Okay, you might think that because it's way bigger than the pipe, the water would flow out. Yeah, this is just the analogy. We suppose that the water don't, the water only, uh, like uh, only flows in one direction. It won't flow flow back. So if you want to replace a connector, you need the entry to be bigger. If you like smaller here, there will be like uh, a space for the water to flow out. And also for the exit, you need to be a smaller rather than bigger. If you're bigger, it there will also be some uh, space for the water to flow out, right? Because the pipe is not covered. So yeah, that's why you see, if we think of this connector as a function, which the in would be the argument, the exit would be the return, you will see that why the return type is the uh, covariant, but the argument is contravariant. So yeah, th th I think this is a very good analogy. Uh, at least for myself, uh, this is how I understand the countervariance. So, hope it helps. And uh, also, so in this post, uh, if you take a look at it, there's an uh, at the last paragraph. It talks about why, about why array t should be covariant or not. Um, so let's take a look at how it works currently in TypeScript. Uh, so we have this animal, we have the cat, we we have a list, animal list, and a cat list. We can assign catalysts to animal lists, but animal lists not to catalysts. You might think this is pretty straightforward, right? Uh, we have this is the same behavior as what you have for for the first example. We assign cat uh, with the animals. Um, yeah. So what do you mean? It means that array is uh, covariant. Uh, yeah, it's pretty good. But actually, this is some problems in it. Take a look at this example. We assign to catalyst a a catalyst to animal list. Now, the animal list could be pushed with some other animal like dog, right? But 
but the reference to the object itself, the array itself, is still there. So the reference cat list, we can, uh, in TypeScript, it doesn't complain. Uh, we just the cat list for, for specific this line. There's no problem because cat list is a list of cats, right? So this is a problem. Uh, yeah, we accidentally have two references to the same object, but with different types. The animal list is a list of animals, but a cat list is a list of cat, but they both point to the same array. Now, yeah, for cat list, we will call something uh, er error, right? Uh, it will be cause some trouble. So the problem like probably lays in like, I don't know, to two part, one is aliasing. Why allow, why we allow like a referencing to something uh, which have different types. Well, that's how JavaScript works, I think. And the other thing is that why allow the list to be um, pushed with new things? Yeah, if there's no no mutation on this array, this won't be a problem. But JavaScript allows the mutation. Um, yeah, so, um, so this topic is very deep. Uh, I don't want to uh, expand too much because I don't know either. So it's very alien to me as well. But just remember that TypeScript type system, type system helps us write like JavaScript applications, but it has flaws in soundness. It's, it's just like a nice balance between the soundless and easy to use, right? Uh, if this makes it too strict, like it, TypeScript won't be adopted like so popular with, with, uh, among the uh, front end developers. Yeah. Because yeah, we, we must make, we, we must compromise. So that's it. Uh, so hope it helps. It's very interesting. Um, yeah. Contravariant, covariant. It's a very fancy word to talk about. Cool. See you next time. Bye-bye.